All right, guys, so um, I have the Hero 8 Black right here. Let's hit the product show feature. Let's, let's, I love this product show feature. Got the Hero 8 Black right there. Uh, and we're going to show the video quality versus this Sony ZV-1 that I'm recording with. Now, I have always used the GoPro Hero 8 Black for vlogs, especially when I'm in my car, uh, because I think the quality is pretty much unmatched and then it's a action camera so you get a lot of steady shots with the camera but we're not going to be testing steady shots we're going to be testing just a vlog like this and again this is a ZV-1 and now I'm going to fire up my GoPro Hero 8 Black and put it in the same spot a couple things I want you to look for is field of view audio I have two windows down on the car there's someone cutting grass you know there's a bunch of things going on in the background elements so there's birds chirping but listen for the audio quality. Uh, this is the external microphone on the ZV-1. It does have that wind filter on there. Uh, but the GoPro Hero 8 Black doesn't have any kind of filters or anything like that. And it's just the camera itself going to be filming in this same spot. So listen for audio, video quality, and things like that. So obviously the ZV-1, I have the blurred background turned on because why not? I think it's a good feature. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and fire up the GoPro Hero 8 Black now. And I do have a 7, but honestly, after using the 8, the, seven, the 7's microphones aren't as good as the 8. And it was a nice upgrade over the 8, so over the 7. So the 8 is going to get fired up right now. All right, so here's the GoPro Hero 8 Black in just a regular 4K vi video. Um, and I have it in linear mode. Now, with the, with the GoPro Hero 8 Black, I can actually change to wide, ultra-wide, and I put it in linear mode to start this off because really I just want to show you the quality that 4k footage comes from uh, When you use 4k on this device now this device can film at 4k 60 and that's an advantage that you have over uh, The Sony ZV-1 this this camera doesn't shoot 60 frames per second in 4k it shoots 30 But really do you honestly need that? Yes, it's great But 30 frames is where you're gonna really get the the kind of the realistic really crisp uh, footage, especially if you're not moving around and if you're not, you know, getting any kind of motion going, you really don't need to turn on 60. I just like 60. But for, we're going to go ahead and switch this over to 4K 30, uh, and then you'll see the the uh, GoPro in 4K 30 because this is 60. All right, now here's a GoPro Hero 8 Black and just regular 4K 30. Um, this will probably look a little cinematic. You know, it's it's going to look different than the um, the uh, 60 frames per second, but 4K 30 exact is exactly where a lot of people shoot. A lot of people don't do 4K 60 again uh, unless you're doing a whole bunch of moving around or something like that. But when with vlogs, a lot of people like the blurred background today. So that's something that at the moment GoPros can't do. But depending on how you position the camera, you can actually get a kind of a blurred background. But there's a way you have to do it on the camera. You'd have to be kind of close in frame in order to do so and gopros aren't made for something like that but a lot of people use gopros not just for vlogs they use them for um recording content on their channel and i do that too so now i'm going to show you the real strengths of uh, a real strength of the gopro is the wide angle or ultra wide let's get into that all right it was getting a little hot so i left the windows up uh and i turned on some air conditioning so you might hear a little bit of air conditioning or you might not, but I'll definitely fire up the um, Sony uh, with the windows up. So here is the GoPro Hero 8 Black in just regular wide angle. You're gonna see a whole bunch more in view. They've taken care of some of that vignetting effect with wide angle, because you know sometimes when you do a wide angle, you get this little bubble around the edges uh, of, the, of the video. But what do you think about this wide angle shot? And now I'll switch to super wide. This is super wide. I mean, it's, this it probably looks crazy, you know, because you're not looking at a really uh, nice background and you're not looking at trees or anything like that. But this is super wide. I had to show you this because this camera is less than an arm's length away. I, I, I kind of moved the GoPro forward a little bit because it's just got such a good uh, viewing angle over the Sony. And remember, the Sony is a 24 millimeter length focal length. However, that's not a bad. I've seen a lot of people saying that that focal length is bad for vlogging, but I disagree after having the camera. I really do. So this is super wide. Now I'm going to switch back to uh, the Sony for a second. 
and give you some more footage from that one. All right, so the Sony, while it doesn't have like this ultra wide, there is a gentleman out there who shows you how to change this camera with the, the lens adapter and the filter to turn it to ultra wide. But honestly, I don't believe it actually needs it. I don't think this camera needs ultra wide. It's a matter of where you position the camera. And again, I have the Sony an arm's length away, but with the GoPro Hero 8 Black, I really don't have to do that uh, because it has such a good length, a good uh, viewing angles on it, and it's got a, you can get a lot in view. So I feel like um, if you're going to vlog, the Sony is probably going to give you some of the strongest. And remember, when you think about price, this, this GoPro cost half of what the Sony cost uh, and you know you're getting really good battery you're getting good quality footage you're just missing some things that people might consider is what you need for a vlog but a vlog can be done with your phone so with the GoPro Hero 8 Black it is to me a little bit more versatile because it's an action camera too it's got more modes for shooting uh, and, you know, while the Sony definitely has the upper hand on quality, like video quality in some situations, and it has this defocused background, you've got the product show, um, the GoPro Hero 8 Black is still something that I recommend to people. I mean, the Sony's autofocus, let me see if I can get the autofocus here without the, without the product show. No product show turned on, and that's the autofocus. That's, that's, that's good autofocus. That's something that the, the GoPro Hero 8 Black has good autofocus too, but it's not going to be as strong as the Sony. It's just not going to happen. So um, Sony has labeled this camera as a vlogging camera. GoPros have been used for vlogs for a very long time. There's a ton of us who use GoPros for vlogs, and that's just what it is. So if you want to save some money, I recommend you get the GoPro Hero 8 Black over vlogging with your phone. Because this is much better quality. It's, it's more stable. You've got hyper smooth. And remember, I'm not even doing a vlog where I'm walking around. Um, I just wanted to show you the quality right here. So I think that if a person is not wanting to spend the $750 on the Sony uh, plus the, the $150 for the, for the tripod, you know, um, or you could just get the Sony and then get this tripod like I have here. You see, I have, it, I have it like bent into a position where I can get it up on the dash. But you, the camera versus the GoPro. The GoPro is the smarter purchase when it comes to saving money and getting quality vlogs. Now, the microphones on here, some would argue that, you know, the Sony sounds better, some would argue that the GoPro sounds better. The GoPro, when you're recording, like when I do videos and I'm behind the GoPro, I have to stay in one spot or it looks like I'm shifting. It, it kind of messes with the stereo sound when it's recording. So, and sometimes people ask, and that's what it is. I'm moving around as I'm recording from behind the camera, sometimes. But the GoPro is fantastic for shooting in a tight spot. That is why the GoPro has an advantage over the Sony if you're going to use it for something other than vlogs. And the Sony can be used for things other than vlogs. You can use it to record videos on your channel. I've done it already, but I didn't tell you. Like, of products, yeah, I've done that already. But I didn't tell you because I want you to just see if you can figure out, you know, I want you to like it based on the quality, not because it's Sony or the ZV-1, you know what I mean? So, but the GoPro, I've used this GoPro to film so many things on the channel and some people just, did, they just didn't even know it. So, the question is, you know, should you use a GoPro or should you use a Sony ZV-1 for vlogs? It's really up to you. I have them both and I can use either one if I want to, if I want to be really compact and I'm going to a car show or something like that or I'm just going to be vlogging, I'll be very active. I would take this GoPro Hero 8 Black because it's more compact, believe it or not. I can, I can throw this in my pocket and it's like super small. Even if I didn't have a tripod, you know, this camera has like gimbal like status built in. And so I could film by just holding it. I could just hold it in my hand. It's, it's perfect. You know, it's got the built in brackets on the bottom. It is, it's flawless. Uh, so, and I can fold this tripod up and put it in my back pocket or something. The, the Sony, on the other hand, it's compact too for a camera because it's a point and shoot. So, I think it's going to boil down to how much money you want to spend, um, if you're going to be moving around a lot, and the length, the focal length in the camera, like how close do you think you need to have it or how far away. The GoPro Hero 8 Black is the smarter option. Just because I like the Sony, 
Uh, it doesn't mean that I'm going to tell you to buy it just because I like it or it's brand new. Sometimes when you get a new product, you tend to overhype it sometimes because you're excited about it. But with the, this comparison here, the, the Hero 8 Black has great footage. And I'm, and I'm telling you, I'm not outside moving around through the neighborhood because I, in another video I told you guys I wouldn't do that anymore because I had, <laughs> I had some, some guy like following me around. He found who I was and he was like in front of my house. And I was like, what the heck? So... I no longer shoot things kind of out. If you're wondering, I don't shoot things in my neighborhood as much as I used to. Uh, and um, that's neither here nor there. The, the Hero 8 Black, just based on this vlog right here, because I do a lot of vlogs that are just stationary, you'll be able to see that the Hero 8 Black holds its own. And there's going to be a lot of people out there that will tell you to buy the Hero 8 Black. And now I think you can get it for $350 with like all these bonuses and stuff. So... Um, I don't know, man. I think I still would recommend the Hero 8 Black over the Sony based on price and what a person could do with it as it being more versatile for vlogs and things like that and recording video footage. But I still like the Sony, and I'm going to continue to use the Sony for my vlogs because I like the portrait-style video. I like the blurred background. I can turn that on and off. I've got the product show. Every camera has its strengths and weaknesses, uh, but this is going to come down to... Um, you know, what exactly I want to do with the camera and how I'm going to be using it. And I'm blessed enough to have them both. And I have a ton of cameras, man. So, um, I don't know. I, I think it's going to boil down to how much money you want to spend. Because you're not sacrificing quality in video when you get, get the Hero 8 Black. You're not at all. You're not sacrificing quality in video at all, I, I say. I say that they both have great video quality. It's just that the Sony has that blurred, defocused background you could turn on and off, and it also has the product show. And that's pretty much it, a very fast autofocus. But I'll leave that up to you in the comment section. What do you think about the quality versus the Hero 8 Black here in this stationary vlog-type setting? If I was going to do a vlog in my car, this is where I've done it at before, just sitting right here, or I'll go somewhere else to another spot that I have where I vlog at. So... What do you guys think? I know that the, the Go, GoPro Hero 8 Black will kill this Sony when it comes to stabilization, no matter what they try, because it has hyper smoothing. That's what I'm saying. The, the Hero 8 Black is such a better option and a better value for you if you really want to do vlogs. But if you're stuck on this brand of... And remember, GoPro is a big brand. They, they do great if you're into brands. This is a trusted brand, I would say, for action cameras. Uh, but if you're just really wanting a camera camera, like a point and shoot... This takes photos too, by the way. And the photos are not bad. So, you know, it's up to you to decide what you want to do with your money. But I would tell a person if they're asking me, hey, Jay, I got 700 bucks. Should, what should I get? Should I get the GoPro Hero 8 Black or should I get the Sony ZV-1? I would tell them, well, I personally now use the Sony ZV-1 for my vlogs. That's because I have other cameras. But if you're wanting to save money, you could get the mic adapter for the GoPro Hero 8 Black. You can get extra batteries, you can get tripods, brackets, mounts, and you'll still be well under 500 bucks. So, Shaman J, hope you guys enjoyed. What do you think about the quality from both of these cameras?